Welcome to the podcast, which is talk hard work shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there guys, and welcome to Work Hard Talk Shit, the brand new podcast here on the channel featuring Ali from PGH. Ali, how's it going? Ali, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's me, from PGH. Go check me out now. Okay, so um, this podcast is going to be every other week, I think, and we're going to swap it with yep. Cards Against Humanity. Um, yep. As far as length of a podcast, not really sure how long we're going to do this for. Um, we'll just go with the flow. Five minutes will be good, just so I don't have to talk to Ali for that long, and we can just you know, <laughs> fuck off. Um, <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's going to be that. So, Ali, um, you might recognize him from sort of uh, my, my streams, if you're from my channel. Um I can hear myself in the background again, I What? Yep, it's annoying. But anyway, we'll keep going. Um, yeah, so you might recognize him from uh, my main, in quotations, moderator from my streams. Um, he also does a lot of <laughs> content on his channel. So make sure you go check him out if you wish to do so. So we're going to start off today talking about some gaming, um, cross-platform yeah. gaming. Um, so basically, cross-platform game is where you can play on Xbox and PlayStation together. It isn't out yet, but there's been sort of uh, rumors circling that it is going to be coming soon. One of the games that said that they could do it right now, they're just waiting for permission from PlayStation or from Sony and Rocket from League. Xbox, is, is Rocket League. Yeah, so um, this is a great step forward, but will it ever happen? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, what, what do you think on this, Ali? It would happen, but unless... It's not going to happen for a long time because Xbox and PlayStation are just going to argue because it's going to split the profits and they don't want that. They want most of the money because they're greedy idiots up there. Yeah, I mean, it's going to affect sales a little bit for either console because when, when you're going to buy, like, if you're going to buy, like, an Xbox or a PlayStation and you're trying to decide, one of the things that I always think is, like, what, what do my friends have at the moment? So if all your friends are on Xbox, you go get an Xbox, right? Like You've got friends? Yeah, I've got two. Um, <laughs> and they've both got Xbox. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that, that sort of plays in my mind when I'm when I'm buying a new console is what is people who I know are going to be playing. Um, but if that's not an issue, that sort of means that... I can, I guess it drives, like, the, uh, the software for it because then you have to look at what's the best console. Like, the consoles are really close to which one is the best. Like, they have very similar specs and things like that. And there's just, like, little things that are different that people point out. Um, so, I guess if we've got the cross-platform gaming, then um, that takes that out of the equation. Uh, but what what other games would you like to see cro cross-platform gaming? What would you like to see being uh, cross-platformed? FIFA, because they've kind of introduced it already with the transfer markets being... Yeah. Haven't they? The transfer markets are all the same across. So okay. they could do it, and it would just be fun. Yeah, I mean, FIFA obviously one of the biggest sports games, especially in Europe. Um, yeah. So doing that would be awesome, because then, like, there's a lot of people who I know who are on PlayStation who I've met through YouTube, and we can't do collaborations because they're on PS4 or on Xbox. So it, for YouTube's sake, you know, it would be huge if we could collab with anybody on youtube um yeah exactly. so that, that would be a big step um but like i say we don't know when it's gonna happen if there's rocket league saying they can do it and i'm pretty sure i read somewhere that it wouldn't even take like 10 minutes for it to to be done it's just like flick a switch and then it's done and now you can do it so they the developers there and i mean rocket league's not even like you know a triple a title so if they, their developers can do it then surely you know the bigger developers can do it as well um yeah Obviously, then you've got sort of the the exclusive games that each console has that would also like indicate like which console you buy. I guess that could play into that. But yeah. um, yeah, you got any other opinions on cross platform? Any any questions you want to ask me or? Why did I ask you the question? I'm the nerd here. Excuse me, please. <laughs> uh, cross platform gaming will be brilliant. It will be br brilliant for competitive games as well because it will mean that. Uh, professional players won't ha actually have to switch between consoles yeah so it'll be better and competition would just be better and also 
mainstream games should be on both consoles. And then niche games could just be exclusive, as you just said. Yeah. I'm just doing a... What was that guy's name? Who cares? Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Yeah, so, that, like... Get the point. Call of Duty, Grand yeah, Theft Auto, exactly. the big yeah. games is cross-platform, and then you have your own sort of indie games on exactly. each. That probably wouldn't be cross-platform, yeah. but Call of Duty would be awesome. Like, Just imagine that. Like, yes. There's already, like, hundreds of thousands on Xbox. Just imagine merging that with hundreds of thousands on PlayStation... Battlefield again, another game where they have already huge, huge maps and huge amount of players. I mean, being able to cross-platform that would be big for them because numbers dwindle towards the end of the the year for them sort of games. So, if they yeah. could bring cross-platform, then get them numbers together for the servers, it just makes the game a lot a lot easier. Um, I guess then though, you might have people on microphones like talking shit to each other about <laughs> what console <Consoles>. on, <laughs> console yeah. wars goes online. Um, but again, that's just an issue that they'll have to deal with. I don't think it's Yeah, that'll bad. be a cool feature too, to do consoles war. So like on Battlefield 1, one team is just PlayStation 4 and the other team is just that's, Xbox 1. That's a very good idea. Just that gives a lot more reason to win. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. That would be interesting. Yeah, that's that, like, that viral, that competitiveness yeah. to the actual... That's a very good idea, Ali. That's a very good idea. I like Yeah, that. I know. Exactly. This is why I'm the nerd, mate. I'm the genius. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to move on here to a yeah, story that I saw on the internet. Um, it's about a Harambe Cheeto. Um, you might be thinking, what, what the fuck are you talking about? So, exactly. basically, um, this guy was selling a Cheeto or a corn puff. I think it was in America. And it was shaped yeah. like a gorilla um so like uh, it had you could see sort of the gorilla head outline the body and then just like an arm sticking out and a leg at the bottom i mean it wasn't nothing great it wasn't like you know its face was imprinted on a cheat or anything like that but he went ahead and titled it harambe cheeto um and for the first like few hours or days or whatever i can't remember the specifics but it was up to like the bids was at 11.99 so i think that was dollars um and then it started to to catch fire and the Ending price, believe it or not, was ninety nine thousand dollars for a cheeto. People are stupid. That's eighty thousand pounds. People are stupid. <laughs> Why would you pay that much? How much would you pay for a Harambe? You're right, mate. Give me that. Money. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Harambe is dead. <laughs> exactly. Triggered. Like it's not even like a popular meme anymore. Like that was like the summer. It's like a dead meme now. I mean, you know. Exactly. Just. And the thing is, there was like, I think like 130 bids, like from different people as well. So why would 130 different people, like, it just blows my mind that they'd still want Harambe shit. It's just the Americans. Just imagine if he gets it and it's broke. <laughs> the guy didn't yeah. package it and it's in half. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I just paid $99,000 uh. for a broken Cheeto. You can get Cheetos for like a quid. Let's compare it. Damn. You could have bought... A brand new car with that money. Holy shit. But the guy, no. Whoever paid that's got way too much money. Exactly. That's PewDiePie who bought that. Yeah. There's a video PewDiePie. coming soon of PewDiePie with a Harambe Cheeto for sure. Exactly. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Anyway, I'm um, talking to PewDiePie. Uh, let's move on to clickbait. Um, Yay, clickbait. <laughs> I like clickbait. It's <laughs> you, get you the money, money, money. So, <sighs> clickbait is often sort of look down on and uh in youtube circles because people do it wrong right i yeah. i don't mind clickbaiting so much as long as it the thumbnail and title are relevant to the video um one of the things that people do in the fifa circles is they they title their videos like team of the year ronaldo um, or like, oh my god, Team of the Year Ronaldo, and then they have impacts sort of towards the end of the title, so you can't see that, and then you click on the video, you say impacts, they didn't actually pack anybody, but the Ronaldo was in the packs, like, and it just annoys me that these, these, uh, these videos get thousands of views for them sitting, opening crappy packs, and not actually getting what the thumbnail and title say. Um, I... Jealous? I'm not jealous, no. Um, <laughs> but last was it last year? I did this half clickbait title that was 
Oh my god, yeah, I got nothing in a free pack. Boy. But I said, the title says I got nothing in a free pack. If people actually read the whole title word for word, then they would have seen that it says I, I got nothing like... in a free pack. And I got like four or five comments saying, oh my god, clickbaiter. And I was like, what? Just read the title. It's not clickbait. I mean, not bad clickbait anyway. Um... Yeah, I commented that, but I was just joking. <laughs> yeah, um, but there was a few <laughs> a few that definitely wasn't joking. But um, yeah. yeah, I mean... If clickbait is done the right way, it's not bad. But when people just do it to uh, to get the clicks, and I see small YouTubers doing it, and I'm thinking like, it doesn't work. yeah, because they think they think they're gonna get like a thousand views on this video, but they don't realize that the way that these bigger channels like clickbait channels get the views is they already have like ten thousand views from asking people on Twitter and Skype to watch their videos um, and also exactly. YouTube comments. So they also they get these 10,000 views and that helps them in sort of the search and recommend recommendations. And then yeah. that's why it comes up. And smaller YouTubers think they do the same and they only get like a couple hundred. Um, and it just makes them look a little bit a little bit stupid in my opinion. Yeah, um, it is. I've spoke a lot on clickbait. Um, <laughs> yeah, want... let me speak, yeah, please. <laughs> Have your say. You've just been talking the whole thing, just... <laughs> Get me out of the podcast. That's, that's Just check on his sign. You want to learn how to put, clickbait? Go to Nero, mate. Nero taught you how to clickbait. Nero's video was brilliant. fucking hilarious, dude. Yeah, that was really good. Uh, brilliant. Um, <laughs> Colorblind community, they're not left anymore. They used to love to clickbait, and it was terrible. Clickbait, and I don't mind... It just doesn't work with small YouTubers. It works with big YouTubers because they've actually got the viewership who actually click on the video yeah. and then they just get the views and it works for their own audience it doesn't work for other audiences it just works for, for their own viewer to like oh he just uploaded the video look at the title oh yeah. i'm interested in this clicks on the video finds out it's just bullshit but they don't care because they watch them every single day and they know that it's just clickbait and they can do nothing and the fifa community we're just slacking behind i'm jealous <laughs> jealous there was um pro pro gamer j he was the colorblind yeah dude. um yeah and i remember when he had like four i think it was forty thousand subs and he used to come was into it? people's live streams and say hello and then he would leave yeah i remember him and people would be like oh shit that guy's got 40k and then he'd pick up a few subs for people's live streams um i guess the way it, um i'm gonna give some advice here to any anyone listening who wants to grow their youtube channel um, the wrong way. So listen in if, if you're interested in growing the wrong way. So start out with your YouTube channel is what you want to do is uh, just basically go to people's channels and ask if you, you could uh, if they could view your videos and subscribe to you. Do that to about a thousand people a day and make sure you go back to the same people at least once a week to, to update them that you still want them to subscribe. So that's probably going to do the whole sub for sub thing as well. Um, do sub for sub streams still happen? I don't know. But if they do, make sure you go yeah. in them. Um, go into the sub sub Go to HD Gamers. HD Gamers, yeah, he's a big one. Go to his channel. You'll definitely get a shout out from there if you yeah. like bought thirteen subs. Give him money. Give him money. <laughs> so do that. Get to about a thousand subscribers. That's gonna help you first thousand. Keep doing that. Then once you've got a thousand, start like a shout out Sunday and shout out Wednesday sort of videos where then people will sub to you so they can get some of your subscribers, like smaller guys. Um, that's probably going to lift you to 10k um, if you do that for a few months. So we're only going to be in like six months into our YouTube career here we're already at 10k. Um, so you're doing well. Um, next thing that you want to do is start clickbaiting a little bit. Um, start going into people's live streams. Uh, obviously at 10k people are going to be like, oh crap, this guy's obviously a good YouTuber. Keep putting out crap content, but make sure you go into these people's live streams. You're going to get to around 50k. That's when you want to start clickbaiting hard. Now you've got a little bit of viewership, then you're going to get up to 100k. Then what you want I to feel do? Like I kind of this person. Then what you want to do is <laughs> is start copying everybody else's videos. So if you see a video that has um, a few hundred thousand views of someone in a bath with some orbsies or some shit like that, um, just copy what they do and do the same thing. Uh, make sure you put the same tags and you'll get relevant. Um, and then all of a sudden you'll be at a million subscribers. Love and life. Is this morgs? You're talking about morgs. I mean, I'm describing the perfect shitty way to get to being successful on YouTube. If that matches <laughs> Morgz's description, that's not my fault. I'm, just, I'm letting the blueprint out. Whoever matches it, that's pew their pew, fucking problem. Shots fired. Pew, pew, pew. 
<laughs> um, no, no, I'm, I'm obviously, uh, obviously, yeah, just fucking about. But <laughs> uh, also, go to Chewie's room. He gives a lot of lovely sub for subs. Chewie's <laughs> go, go, go watch Chewie. Um, he'll probably be so bad to you because he loves to be nice. <laughs> Definitely nice. So <laughs> not doing it for the subs. Um, are you Chewie? Well, sorry if you are watching this. <laughs> but she was like, fuck these guys. I thought these were friends. Look at these assholes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hopefully he's, uh, he's got a sense of humor. Um, yeah. and he, he knows. Yeah. But recently, this is completely off topic. And um, you may not want to hear about it. If you don't, just tell me shut the fuck up. We need to end the podcast at any point. But okay. I've been going down a rabbit hole. Um, do, you, do you know what that means? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Of YouTube yeah, videos. Know, but... Um, what? I've been going down a rabbit I hole. Don't understand. Explain it properly. Um, so basically, oh, type it, type it, type it if you want. No, if I can explain want it. it. Um, oh, so basically, I, I start watching a video. Um, I watch the video and then I sort of keep watching the same sort of videos. And the videos I've been watching are nine eleven conspiracy videos. And I've gone down this rabbit hole where I keep clicking more nine eleven conspiracies. And now I'm convinced that some part of the U.S. government had something to do with it. Of course. Um, and it's... I'm almost addicted to watching these videos. Almost addicted yeah, to them. That's the whole point. Uh, wasn't it scientifically... Pr it was proven that, like, some tones, some frequencies will make you want, like, like addict you to watching, like, specific stuff. Like, there was a Japanese game... I forgot what it was. I think it was Pokemon or something. And it had a song and the frequency was so low that people would commit suicide and they would die from it if yeah. they played the game. I, I, it was a TV program, I think. Maybe. It may have been a game. Well, but I, yeah, know, I, I don't know. The like, Simpsons definitely did a parody of it um, where they went to Japan and there was a Japanese TV program that hypnotized them to, I don't think, kill themselves, but possibly. I can't remember the episode now, but The Simpsons yeah, definitely like they parodied did it. Yeah, self-harm and stuff, yeah. And so maybe these videos actually use like the voices they use because they're all deep and the male voices and mm. like maybe it's just hypnotizing you to watch more. I don't yeah. know conspiracy yeah. theories. Yeah. Maybe yeah, there's a conspiracy theory on the conspiracy theorists that they're exactly. hypnotizing me to think their way. But no, I mean the facts that they show <laughs> in these videos, like I'm, I can I can see where they're coming from and yeah, I mean. Damn, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely down a rabbit hole. I need to get out of this rabbit hole and get my head back to the surface and start watching normal videos. I mean, it all started with Joe Rogan's <laughs> podcast because I watched Joe Rogan's podcast and he had uh, a guy called, I think, Alex Jones on and him and Eddie Bravo, Joe, Joe Rogan's friends, they was talking to conspiracies the whole time. And then, I mean, fuck, dude, I just... Yeah, I, I think I know Alex Jones. Yeah, I know does, that um, guy, yeah. Info Wars and... Uh, yeah, 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 I know that guy. To sorry. be fair, what they're saying is true because... It, the whole it it was just planned they were just gonna attack it themselves and then it was it was just gonna be proof that it was just terrorism in the middle east so they could go disrupt the middle east and yeah. look we look at middle east the middle eastern countries right now and they're all in a mess turkey's going into a direction of dictatorship uh syria's got bashar al-assad with uh russia on his side and america against them but now donald trump's evening it out and then mm -hmm. Iraq, Saddam Hussein, just like a couple of years ago. And Iran is just a country ruled by the Muslim leader. Like, they, they're not thinking straight. It's just the USA is just trying to control the power, but they're losing their power to China and Russia, and they're scared of it, so they're trying to start a war. Yeah, well, before 9-11, I think it was back in, maybe in the 70s, it may have been a different decade, but they actually planned to do a similar thing where I think they shot down, or there was going to shoot down an aeroplane um, over Cuba and then start a war with Cuba saying the Cubans did Exactly. It. Um, and that was something yeah. that they had planned, they never did. And then in the end, that sort of is the exact same thing that they did with 9-11. Um, I've been watching all these things about the planes are completely different to what they should have been. There was more like a military plane. The plane did more damage than it should have done hitting a steel building. Um, obviously the, the buildings shouldn't have collapsed anyway because of 
I mean, there's multiple like fires that happen in these buildings. One burned for like 26 hours, something like that. And uh, at the end, it was just like the steel skeleton that was left. It never, it never collapsed because of the fire. So, I mean, it looked like a detonation because obviously, if that building got hit on one side, it'd start burning. Surely, it would have collapsed to a, to one side. I don't think it would have gone straight down. Um, there was yeah. also reports of some sort of bomb. But again, this is the rabbit hole I'm in, and there's so much shit that keeps coming <laughs> up, and I keep clicking these videos. One of them I was almost fucking crying at because it was about people who jumped out of the tower. And oh my god, I just I didn't want to watch it. But I ended up after like five more videos clicking on it. And then I was like, it's a 20 minute video about it. And I was like, oh my god, I need to get out of this shit. Um, yeah, because they were going to die anyway. So they just jumped off and committed suicide. Yeah, I mean, they would have been like struggling for breath because of the, the jet fuel. Um, yeah. Obviously the fire was there. They couldn't get down um, the elevators or the stairs or whatever because it was crashed into um so yeah they just sort of jumped and there was uh um scraping them up off the off the floor which must okay be you've terrible. you've i feel like you're really traumatized so i think we should just move on from the I am. topic I am. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is what i mean that's like, the rabbit hole i'm in right now i need to find a new fucking conspiracy theory to run with because this one's i think this one's done now i just stay out of it was the twin towers owned by donald trump no it was um silverstein or something like it? that um, it was, wasn't it? No, it's his friend. It's his friend, um, Mar Marty Silverstein, or something like that. He bought the towers uh, nine months before they was hit and took this huge um, insurance policy out, and he, he made like four billion dollars or something crazy like that. Who did he sign it from? I don't know. I don't know who he got it from. I think it may have been. The... I mean, buy it from, not sign it. FIFA, too much FIFA. <laughs> what? Nothing. I said sign instead of buy. Bull. Oh, okay. I mean, Who did you sign know, him from? Um, I think yeah, it was exactly, Betis. Yeah. I think he got him from Real Betis. Um, two million pounds from <laughs> Betis. Cheap. How did we get to Real Betis? Cheap youngster from Betis, dude. That's where he got him. Um, but like, Charlie Masanda. <laughs> Charlie Masanda, definitely. Um, uh, husband Dembele. Any of them guys? Let's bring him in. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I was in a rabbit hole too. I was, I like, I was, a couple of weeks ago before, like when. It was Donald Trump, and he was just trending, and he was like everything about Donald Trump. I was yep. watching a few videos about his old speeches. I was like, this guy is actually a good guy. He's not anyone bad. He's just really patriotic, and he just wants his country to be protected. Yep. Like, so I don't understand why there's so much media slash. And it was a very like a media favorite with uh, the Apprentice, with um, all of these shows. He would go on reality tv shows like it will go on news as well and talk there as well yeah there's nothing bad about him he's really good if if it was hillary world war three would have started donald trump brought peace to the to the world and hopefully he's going to expose 9-11 as well because one of the exactly. big things i've gone back to 9-11 this is what i mean about him. my mind is good <laughs> <Just straight about. laughs> <laughs> because um obviously the government has been keeping it a secret i think the the World Trade Center 7 that they brought down, the separate building to get hit by a bomb, had a lot of the, the plans in, I think, because that was a CIA building. Um, and they brought that down randomly for no reason. Didn't even get hit. But anyway, Donald Trump mm -hmm. might expose it because he's not a politician. Um, and they can't buy him. Like, all the politicians, the, the the government, which he's supposed to be the head of, um, obviously had their own sort of shady shit going on. Um, and exactly. the same sort of people might be able to, to buy his silence or whatever. Um, but I think with him not being a politician... Um, that that could uh, that could bring out some truths that the government didn't want. I mean, he's already, like I said in my in my video, he's already brought up this. I don't know if I actually put that in actually, but the pedophile ring. Did I talk about that? Yeah, yeah, you talked. I about did. That, okay, you. so yeah, so yeah, he's already exposed. Go watch like that, that video. We're not explaining it here. Yeah, that's right. Go Don't watch Trump it. Trump you know. video on my on my channel. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, Donald Trump. I don't know how he got here, but I think he could be. Good. He's you've good got to, you've got to give him like a chance. Him a chance, yeah. You can't just go and shoot his shit down. I mean, one of the things I don't want to see is like just because you're a Trump supporter, praising everything he does, and just because you was a Hillary supporter, like shooting him down for everything he does. You've got to give exactly. every sort of individual thing he does. You've got to look at that, analyze it, and either agree with it or disagree. Don't just because you're a Trump supporter go, yeah, I agree with that, no matter what. Um, which some people will do, but yeah. Um, okay. Uh, what uh, what was Hillary Clinton's party? The Demo Democrats, and then Donald Trump was Republican, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, the Democrats was 
sponsored by the Saudi Arabians. So they were corrupted, corrupt in the first place, because they're sponsored by the monarchy of Saudi Arabia. Like, you know really? They, you know where they got that money from? From oil. No, from the government, American government, giving them it to take blame for 9-11. <laughs> Osama bin Laden, they uh, they paid him like multi millions to to own up to it because before I've gone back to nine eleven again. It, Fuck, I've exactly, got to stay off. exactly. That that's the thing. Cold War during the Cold War, USA actually sponsored Osama bin Laden in Afghanistan to fight off the Soviets in Russia, and then and then uh, they stopped, and then they just started attacking Americans, and the weapons they had was from the Americans. So what America did was basically load up the rifle, left it behind, gave it to some idiots they did not know, and then they just got shot in the back. Absolute idiots. Americans are just idiots. Okay, don't put them all in that boat. Just certain Some members, of them, some of them, some of them. Certain members of the government. Um, yeah. <laughs> corrupt. Um, and they can't get me because I'm in England. So. Yeah, exactly. And That's the right, pictures. You're not gonna seventy-four get us. people who watch this aren't gonna rise out. So, yeah. Fuck you, American government. Um, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> CIA just on your <laughs> door. Like, <laughs> like, what did you say? <laughs> Damn you, mate. Uh, any other topics? Oh, because I feel like it's really short. We only did like twenty-three minutes. Um, do you want to talk about what's going on on Coronation Street? <laughs> I'm joking. I don't watch Coronation <laughs> <Okay. history. laughs> I don't even watch it. Um, okay. What TV programs do you watch? Do you watch any? I don't watch any. I really like Sherlock, no. but you don't watch Sherlock. 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 No, I don't watch Sherlock. You don't watch Walking yeah, Dead, do you? No, I I used to. I used to, but I don't. Watch How can you it. not watch it anymore? Like, what, what happened? I don't know. I just gave up on it. I guess. Oh, dude, it's such a good program. Game of Thrones yeah. as well. Just. Awesome program. Oh, the scenes, I love it. Brilliant. But um, apparently, The Walking Dead's cutting out a lot of violence. Um, because the season, season seven premiere, did you see that? Did you see what happened? Where no, Negan came in so. and bashed oh, the brains oh, out I mean, I mean, yeah. of Glenn and Abraham. Um, and because of that, a lot of people got like really pissed off. And now they're cutting out the violence. Like they showed, obviously, them smashing their brains into the floor with the bat, which was disgusting, but also. Like exactly what happened in the comic books, um, but obviously it was in color in the comic books. It was a black and white, so it kind of had less effect. But this was like full blown like movie, so I guess it was a little bit worse. But at the same time, that's what makes the Walking Dead fucking great. I love that shit. Exactly, um, it's gruesome. That's it's, what you want from it's a zombie. The yeah. Like, but um, what were you yeah. saying? I just cut you off. Yeah, but so apparently they're going to be they're cutting out a lot of it. They did at the end of the mid season finale where um, Daryl beat up or killed one of the saviors he beat him in with a, an iron bar and you didn't see any of the impacts you just saw a little bit of blood splatter um and you saw daryl swinging the iron bar but you didn't see any of it so they've already cut well, out that that shit. yeah exactly and they're going to be doing that going forward um because the show got so popular that now there's people who aren't comic book fans who are watching it um and also they're pussies and they don't want to see any of this shit so there's a chance that <laughs> <laughs> there's a chance that there's going to be a lot of violence cut out. Um, saying that, though, on this um, same episode that they cut that violence out, they did show someone getting stabbed in the stomach and sliced open. So, wow, they're going nice, to leave a little dude. bit in. Yeah, you saw all his guts spill out on the floor. So, yeah, I mean, I guess they're going to leave a little bit of violence in, but they're still going to be cutting some of the some of the more gruesome parts out, which sucks. Which sucks. Yeah. Um, wh what's happening in Sherlock? Sherlock, uh, you really wanted to go in there. Yeah, it's really interesting. I'm not gonna spoil it, so go watch it. No, go go spoil it. I mean, is it is it on like week to week now, or is it like the end of the season? No, it's not week to week. It's so, just it comes out like every two years, which is absolutely bullshit. So if you haven't seen it already, then like it's not a spoiler. It's your fault for not watching it. If they care, then just spoil it. Go. Tell me what happened at the end. Who did it? Oh, in the end, what happened was <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. I'll tell you that much. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, awesome. Uh, the wait, wait. In fact, if you really want it, but I've kind of forgotten it because it's 
Oh, yeah, no, if you can't remember, like, details, you don't want to talk about them. You don't need to. It, it was basically, what happened was, oh, no, I remember the final episode, but I don't remember the first two, because the first two were absolutely bullshit leading up to the second to the last one. So, yeah, on the last one, uh, what happened was, basically, the season before this one came out, uh, Dr. Watson's wife died, which was really sad. We found out she, she was a secret agent, and she, they got betrayed, and so something went wrong. And then she got blamed for it, and this killer guy just came after killing her. Yeah, that's what happened. And then... What, she got murdered? What yeah, she got murdered. Oh, shit. She, she, actually, Sherlock was going to get murdered, but then she jumped in front of the bullet, and then she got killed, which was really sad. All right, like and, th and they service. had a daughter with uh, Dr. Hudson, which was really sh sad. And then... Uh, Dr. Watson just hated Sherlock, and then on the last episode of the season, they became friends to solve this big problem, and Sherlock had a sister, which was shocking. Uh, she oh, was right. too smart, so they locked her up, and they used her for important, uh, like, Wait, super... she was too small? Yeah, she so was like, she could, she could basically, she, when she saw someone, she could, like, seduce them by just saying one word. And they would do anything she told her. Damn. And she's really smart, so she can predict the future as well by just looking at someone. And she'll know what's going to happen in the future. She... So basically, what happened is, she she knew what was going to happen throughout Sherlock's life. And she planned everything a little bit. So she, she was in charge of Moriarty too. So she knew about... I'm talking, but you don't know what I'm talking about. Just so go so watch She's it. like an X-Man, basically. Exactly, she's really smart. That's that's the whole thing. And then okay. what happens is Sherlock saves the day and ba 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 a nice screenshot of your face. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I feel like I just gambled and no one's gonna understand what the fuck I just said. No, nope, probably not. It's like yeah, he sorry, ran guys. off into nothing at the end. What was he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I mean if you're watching uh, this on... deep, then congratulations to you. Um if you're watching this right now, go down in the comments. And type and say uh, PJH is the best fuck chink in the ass. No, don't say that. Type um, <laughs> grapefruit orange, grapefruit orange. Type that if you watch this, then we'll know who's watched every single second. And if no one types it, then we're gonna do another episode. So make sure you type it to stop us from doing an episode two, because you guys don't want to see any more of this. Um, <laughs> but um, me? <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see how many uh, legends actually like this shit. Which um, even if they don't, I'm gonna continue to do it because I enjoy doing podcasts. And this has been pretty fun for an episode one. But that's gonna do it because I ran out of to ran out of topics. Did we? I didn't. Oh, okay. But I did. So I've um, I'm gonna end it and then I'm gonna go and have a bath and then you can keep talking about what you want. Can I? Or are you gonna leave it recorded? <laughs> no, I'm gonna stop recording. You can just sit there and talk. What else did you want to talk about? I was going to talk about how like games are turning into just greedy shits, just wanting for money, and there's okay, so many we'll... Mini transactions. We'll do that next time. Jenks a piece of shit. <laughs> 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 we'll do it next time. It's cool. It's been half an hour. Has it? I wanted one hour. I'm joking. All right. No. See you later. See you in the stream. <laughs> that it, you're going, you're just leaving the call. Typical. Anyway, no, I'm waiting for you to end it. Okay, I'm gonna end the podcast here. So, uh, thanks everyone for watching episode number one. Wait, you didn't even end it, and I just told the people what they're gonna see in the next episode. Yeah, that's perfect. They want to know. So next next time, exactly. We're talk about you want to know shit. about mini transactions? Come to the next episode. Exactly. Two weeks time, I think. We'll switch your cards. We'll talk about that though. Yeah. Um, what we want to do. Uh, but thanks for watching episode number one of uh, Work Hard Talk Shit. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to do it. Well, we like. didn't even talk shit about talk anyone. 9 11? Well, that, was, that was just talking shit. Like, that... I mean, that wouldn't mean like talking shit about people, just talking shit. Anyway, I'm going to end this podcast now. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Very soon. Goodbye.